Hi and welcome to both old and new viewers. July is probably the month when we Norwegians check the weather forecast the most in optimistic hopes for as much sunshine and warm temperatures as possible while we have our very longed for summer holidays. At the cabin we've had a little of everything, sunshine, rain, hot days and not so hot days. The first part I was here alone before going home for a bit and then returning for the second half. The grass cutting has been an ongoing project all summer, but luckily I got some helping hands when my son arrived. And when we got sweaty and grimy from all the work, we bathed in the river down below, just a few minutes walk from the house. years I've started to worry more and more about my bird cherry tree out on the lawn. It got a real beating up in the winter of 2018 when the snow was so heavy that it broke off several branches and the breaking also damaged the trunk. After that I noticed that the tree is tilting more and more to the side each year.
it's such a lovely tree to have on the property. It gives a bit of shade on hot summer days and is also the perfect spot to hang the hammock between the tree and the old woodshed and to lie in and watch the sky. I really hope the tree survives the winters to come with more heavy snow without breaking anymore or even worse falling over. It would be so sad to lose the tree. By the end of my vacation I hadn't gotten around to do half of all the things I wanted and thought I was going to do. Like paint that first house wall outside. Like everybody else I guess I had high hopes about what I was going to accomplish during my vacation time. This is the first year at the cabin as single and it's unrealistic to think I will be able to do the same amount of chores both inside and outside all alone and in the same amount of time as when we were two. It's pretty obvious but at the same time a bit hard to accept. But like a whole lot of other stuff I guess I just have to adjust. Okay, thank you for watching another episode and see you again next time. Until then, take care.